Hey, Sergeant. How often do I have to tell you? It's Sergeant Major, and anyway, we don't carry our rank into Civvy Street in UK. Sorry? Look, just call me Terry. Terry McCassie, right? Ah, perfect. Terry, all right, so I wanted to ask you. What do you want to fucking ask? You were in Africa, right? Aye, uh, South Africa, Rhodesia, the Congo, all the other shit bits. So, there's this new movie, right? It's uh, the Avengers movie, it's uh, Black Panther 2. So? All right, did you see the first one with Wakanda? I took my daughter to it, aye. What about it? How, how realistic do you think it is? I mean, it's sort of a great inspiration, <clears throat> but... How realistic is Wakanda? You've got to be fucking kidding me. Are you totally thick? So not that realistic then. You do understand that it's fucking fictional, don't you? Yeah, yeah, but like, is it, is it based on maybe a real place over there? No, it's not. But is, is it possible? The, like given like the right <sighs> circumstances? Look. Example, Nigeria, the seventh largest oil exporter in the world. Well, that's a lot then. Just behind the United Arab Emirates, right? Dubai, Abu Dhabi, you must have heard of it. Dubai, yes, yeah, the, they've got the oil sheik billionaire guys, right? Right. All right, so Nigeria is sort of like the Dubai of Africa? No, it's not, it's a shithole. Why? Corruption. Just like here. All right. But it could be like Dubai? Oh, fuck, I suppose so. But no likely, though, is it? I mean, the whole Wakanda story is total fucking bullshit. Why? Listen, pal, it could never, ever happen in Africa. This is just this guys in Hollywood kissing the arse of BLM before they found out that BLM stole all the fucking money. Oh, that's a bit racist, isn't it? I mean, why not in Africa? Nothing to do with racism, or not the way you think, anyway. What do you Fucking mean? Fucking idiot. Never mind. So Wakanda, an ultra-modern, highly advanced civilization, living ever so happily, very un-African, hidden in the middle of Africa by a giant force field, Makes everything invisible, even their uh, spaceships. Super cool, the ships. So, question. Did they ever mention aliens in the film? Aliens? Uh, no, no, they were Africans. I don't remember, I don't remember any alien part. Any mention of uh, alien visits? Finding alien technology? No, not that I remember. So, they developed all that technology by themselves? Yes. In a day? No, no. A week? No, I would imagine it would take, like, years, I would think. So, the first thing they built, quietly, like, on the side, without anybody noticing, was a massive fucking force shield. Yeah? What do you mean? Well, unless they built the dome first, do you know think? That they might have noticed somebody constructing a great big fucking city in the middle of Africa. No, they would, they would have to build it in secret, right? And then sort of get it up and running, and then they, and they turn it on, and they're gone. All right, smart arse. How's it powered? Well, I, I don't know. You said no alien involvement, right? So there's got to be some kind of version of what exists now, right? Well, maybe smarter, or more efficient, or maybe even fucking greener. Super advanced. Advanced, right? I'll come back to that bit. But let's just start with the simple bits, okay? Where are all the generators and all the technology and all of the bits? Where, 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 whatever drives everything? Where the fuck is that all hidden? How did they build all that up without anybody noticing? Well, it's an ancient civilization, right? So they could take their time. They built it up before the rest of us were even developing anything at all. They get it up and going, and before anybody's really ever out there to see it. So, one African tribe, right? 
conveniently somehow isolated in the middle of Africa. Nobody can see them. With no other tribes or villages anywhere nearby. Am I right so far? Managed to develop a futuristic, high-technology city centuries ahead of everybody else without anybody noticing. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, it's possible. Is it? It's not fucking likely, though, is it? Ah, uh, well, it is a movie. Look, you asked me if it's realistic. Now, assuming this happened, how come NASA didn't see anything? The shield. That makes them invisible? Correct. From satellites, infrared thermal technology. It's very advanced. So advanced it's able to send out a radar, infrared, thermal signature, like this one that blanks the whole jungle around it so that even NASA can he spot it. Is that right? Yeah, exactly like that. I mean, that must be how they do it. Right, and they're invisible spaceships. It's super cool. Yeah, that's so, why they're never spotted. Right. So with these fancy spaceships, where do they go? Well, anywhere they want. But why? Oh, I don't know, like uh, research? Or uh, maybe they want to... Uh, Maybe they have to buy something that they can't get, like where they are. And then, at the same time, they sneak around Africa in the middle of the night in all their tribal shape. No, no, they would buy all the clothes that, you know, that the, that the local people would wear. So, they, you know, they'd blend in. While they were out Saturday shopping in Oxford Street or something like that. Exactly. Right? So they're this ancient civilization. And their development took a long time, let's say 300 years. Oh God, I would think it would take longer than that. Maybe like, a, I don't know, a thousand years? And they waited maybe till the last 50 before they finally decided to go out shopping. Oh, no, they're advanced. They could go anywhere, anytime they wanted. So you don't think anybody would notice them back then? Even they were wearing the latest cool clothes, doubloons, hosiery or whatever at the time. You don't think nobody would have noticed? No, why would they? Well, my friend, it seems a great credit to you that you haven't noticed one very important point. They're all fucking black. Whoa, you don't need to, like, play the racism card. How can I play a racism card? I'm fucking white! That's what I'm saying. Jesus Christ. Listen, 300 years ago, there were only black people living in Africa, right? Okay, yeah, and then, and then slavery came, and then they got, like, dispersed. So you arrive in Times Square in this invisible spaceship wearing the coolest clothes in the planet. And if it's anywhere else other than Africa, do you not think they're going to notice it? It's a black dude. Oh, yeah. Well, unless they're disguised. Like, maybe, like, same thing that the shield does, but for people. And was that in the movie? No. Because even the writers of The Avengers thought that was a tad ludicrous, did they not? Okay, so, a few of the principles and details aren't quite right, but it could still be possible, right? What about the human factor? What's that? Well, the shield around the city in the middle of the jungle. Yeah. Some kind of force field, right? It protects the city from view and from attack. Yeah, even from Thanos. And you don't think some random African dude out looking after his cows, protecting them from lions, and he's watching this bird fly along and zap, it suddenly fries itself on the force field. No, the shield they would be notice. smarter than that, right? It would, the bird's not a threat. The bird could just fly through. Yeah, and a missile can he? Correct. And then the bird would just do what? It would just keep flying and disappear inside. Yeah. And our African guy, wouldn't they think that's a bit strange? You know, this, this bird is just flying along and then it disappears. Oh, I mean, he might. Or maybe he would get curious and get a wee bit closer just to take a look to see what's going on. Maybe even he'd try and walk through it and then get fried. No, they wouldn't do that. I suspect not. So can he get in? But he's not fried, it just bounces off the inside of it. So what does he do? He just keeps walking his cows looking for a lion or he runs back to the village to tell them all about it. 
All right. Well, maybe, maybe everyone who who goes near the shield gets like amnesia, and and then they don't even remember that they saw it. Well, what about all the young bucks who live inside? All right. What about them? Well, you were a young man. What did you want? A car, a, and a guitar. And pussy. Pussy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, in all of these many years. You didn't think there was like some young Wakandan lads who couldn't get what they want inside the dome that were looking outside and saw some beautiful young lass walking between the villages or maybe on one of their trips somewhere else found a really hot female that they wanted to take back as part of their shopping adventure. I don't know, maybe. And this young guy, hormones raging and a bulge in his pants. Do you not think he's not going to be able to keep his mouth shut? That he's from another advanced country and he's just arrived in a fucking spaceship? No, I think they'd have very, very strict secrecy code. And nobody's ever broken that code anywhere in thousands of years to get laid. Or, or even love. What about love? Is love not allowed between domers and non-domers, for example? Well, I reckon she would have to move into the dome, or, or he and um, they would just become, uh, they'd become one of them. Right, but only Africans allowed, right? What do you mean? Well, you said they could go anywhere in the world in their wonderful spaceships. So not, so not one Wakandan found a person of another color attractive, white, brown, Asian. <sighs> Did you see any of those people in Wakanda? I told you earlier. Your racism is not the racism that I meant. Oh, come on. Okay, one word for you. No, two. Colonization and apartheid. All right, what about that? Well, the colonization of the continent by Europeans who stole all of the resources and enslaved millions of people to do their bidding around the world. Or South Africa until 1994 a system which excluded black people from citizenship, jobs, passports, the right to travel, all of their basic human rights, just controlled everything in their lives. So is it realistic that the world's most advanced civilization, with all their spaceships and their weapons and all the things that they've got in their power, they're just going to sit there and let this shit happen to their brothers and sisters for hundreds of years without doing anything about it. No, I don't know. I mean, maybe there was a long-term plan. And if they were there all the time, with all that power at their disposal, and their spaceships, and their weapons, and they sat there and did nothing, would that not make them just a big bunch of c Oh, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't know. And one more thing, I hear her in all of this, T'Challa, T'Challa, T'I am fucking T'Challa, the prince, whatever his name is, doesn't he have to take on this other dude to become the leader? Does he not have to take him on in Mortal Kombat? Yeah, on the, on the waterfall cliff, to regain the stolen birthright and with traditional weapons and, um, and panther claws. So this highly developed, benevolent, advanced civilization, which claims to value Honesty, integrity, wholesome values, discipline, wisdom, etc. Chooses its leader based on none of that. Basically, choose it based on who can hit the other guy on the head with a fucking stick. Is that right? Mm. Not very realistic, is it? Realistic, my arse. Yeah, I guess, I guess not. Hello, yay, hello, boo. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna see the new one tonight. You wanna come with your daughters? Aye, why not? Eh? Let's do it.